Good evening, and welcome to Jafon's World. I'm going to create a Let's Play series that uh, for Minecraft, and I've, I'm doing this primarily because I've I've uh, got into the game by my two boys recommending it, and I've really have enjoyed playing it, and I've enjoyed playing it with my sons, and I've dabbled around in some single player worlds here and there, and in the past I've also been on a couple different SMP uh, servers, nothing nothing major, but I really enjoyed the interaction, enjoyed the playing, and so I thought that I would create a uh, a world that uh, we could we could test out some of the knowledge that we have, we could gain some new knowledge, and and hopefully uh, bring bring my two sons in uh, into play with us for a while here and there, and <clears throat> and you know just in general you know, have a good time and learn about the game. So. Uh, that's the basics of what I want to achieve in my video uh, in our Let's Play series. And right now we have a um, I'm going to create a new single player world. And if everything goes well, eventually we'll probably create an SMP world where my kids can actually play in the game with me, uh, rather than just uh, meeting me here and there and giving me comments, things like that. So uh, the seed I've chosen is a seed based on <coughs> one I found on the Reddit. Um, I believe by Skillblade was the name of the Reddit poster. Uh, anyway, it has a witch hut and spawn, and, and a, a witch hut and a witch trap in particular is something that I've, you know, I've dabbled in a little bit, and I wanted to try to perfect it and, and make a good one, and maybe make a few twists uh, to make it my own. Um, but in general, that's the uh, the seed we're going to use. <coughs> the default world type. Uh, no, not going to generate structures. No cheats. I will never go into a creative mode. Uh, won't cheat in any way. Everything will be done pure survival. Um, so that's how I like to play. But it's going to create the world here. Um, this is going to be my first time seeing it as well as yours. So uh, I think what we'll do is kind of get a feel for what the world looks like and where we're at, and and uh, kind of give you some of the basics. Uh, oh, nice. Always love spawning near some cows. So we got good cows there. Uh, some mountains. Uh, what's that, a chicken? Yes, we have some chickens there. So. Uh, we have a good source of food right here right off the bat. Um, let's see that we are on the edge of a swamp biome. Um, don't see a witch hut uh, there. Yes, there we go. Oh, right there. Bang, witch hut. Oh, more cows over there. Is that a pumpkin I see? Nice. So, we have a very good world uh, starting off. Uh, meeting all of our criteria. I like uh, mountains close to the witch hut. Uh, you know, might make us a, a, a base up there eventually. Uh, definitely want to do something with this. Looks like a, the renderings of a mountain in the distance. Not sure if you can see that or not, but it looks like there's some more mountains there and uh, uh, mountains behind us as well. <coughs> I think um, the way we're going to get started in our series, our Let's Play series, is I'm going to spend a few minutes on camera here telling you kind of what my goals are with the uh, in general with with the world and with the series, and, and give you kind of the lay of the land, if you will, on, on how we're going to do the series. I'm, um, you know, I'm a decent redstone guy. I'm, a, I'm pretty much a terrible builder. I'm, I'm not very good at aesthetics, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. I'm going to try to build something that's uh, nice. I'm normally pretty good at building something functional. I'm not very good at making it look good. So now I'm going to work on that in this series and, and really put forth some effort to um, you know, make things look good. And if you know, if people actually watch the video, and I would, would love to have any comments and, and let me know, you know, basically what I'm doing wrong and why I'm an idiot and, and using the wrong block to do this or that, and, and how we can, uh, you know, how I can get better at the game. <coughs> but my, you know, again, my primary goal for the series is is to create a series with my my two sons that can play and and watch and enjoy and and you know teach them how to. Uh, how to do things, uh, not only in Minecraft, but you know, with the uh, recording. I've never recorded a video before and never uploaded anything to YouTube, so this is all new to me, and, and we'll be learning it together. And, and you know, Hopefully that'll be a process that they will enjoy and, and appreciate as well. Uh, if other people watch it and they like it, then that, you know, it's fantastic. It makes it uh, even more rewarding for us to do this. Um, but that's kind of the goal for the series. Nothing, you know, nothing special, but that's pretty much the goals. Um, in general, I'll tell you that I, I'm, I'm normally an over-the-top uh, kind of guy. Whenever I decide I want to build a project, I'm the person that uh, you know, goes overboard and, and uh, commits to bigger projects and then you know s struggle through. But I normally get them done if I have a, if I set my mind to it and set a goal, and then that's what we're going to do. And you know, another you know again to teach uh, the kids that you know once you set a goal, you got to stick with it and see it through to the end. So 
<coughs> that will be another thing that hopefully a lesson that we you know we learn and we teach the uh, the boys as we go through. Uh, in general, I think rather than hear me blabbing uh, throughout the series, I think I'll probably kind of state a goal um, you know that we're going to do for that particular video. And uh, some of the YouTubers I've seen, the ones that I really enjoy the most watching, it are the ones who state uh, you know kind of come up with the theme for the overall video, whether they're recording it over a day, a week, whatever time frame it is. I like to have them to have goals and state what their goals are, and then um, you know after that, you know, they they have some cut cutaways and they you know they get to and they come back and show you some progress updates. And, and I, I really think for my my series that's that's kind of what I want to have in uh, in mind as well. I want to be able to um, do the uh, various things that. Uh, sorry, I'm making some stuff there, but I want to be able to do the the various things. Some of them will be off the camera, and you know anything that's uh, you know important, like killing the killing the wither first wither for the server, killing uh, you know the Ender Dragon, for example. A lot of those things I'll do live on camera, so you can watch me fail and enjoy that process of my failure. And uh, but you know some of the some of the projects such as building uh, contraptions or things like that, some of the more technical things. You know I'm not a you know I'm not a perfect redstoner, so I like to do some of those things when I can really focus and and uh, pay attention to what I'm doing. So. I think uh, for today's uh, video to get started, we're just going to kind of get some basics. We've got us a really cool seed here. I love that we got a witch hut. Um, we've got some adequate food. I think I'm going to kill these cows. Uh, I'm going to save the chickens, maybe start a chicken farm after a while. Uh, I'm going to save those cows up there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to save those cows up there. I will lead, I'll lead them down um, at a later point to, uh, to a farm down here we'll create. Um, but anyway, I think I'll cut away now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some basics. Of, um, I'm gonna get the basics of what I will need to survive the night. I'm gonna try to explore out a little bit, maybe find some sheep, and um, you know, just come back and and when I have a little base set up, probably set up on that little island right there as a temporary base that we spawned on. I think that's a that's a pretty good place to start out. But I'm gonna cut away now. Try to get some basics uh, together for the night. And, Hey, I'll be back in just a little while. Ooh, an achievement, guys. Alright, see you guys then. Hey guys, just uh, popping back in real quick. Uh, I was actually, uh, there's our witch hut. I just came over here, killed a few cows right after I cut away. I walked up the hill and BAM! We got sheep right off the bat. So I just thought I'd share that success with you. Uh, we'll get us a bed so we don't have to make it through the... Uh, you know, the first night with zombies, we're about halfway through the first day, and uh, yeah, great, we got us a way to sleep through the night. I'll be back. Oh, looky here, guys. Oh, there's a Enderman right off the bat. Uh, I'm going to try to get an Ender Eye. Uh, oh, where did he go? Come here, buddy. Come here. Man, this would be crazy. I just killed the sheep. Um, come and get to me. I just killed the sheep where we were, uh, where I cut away a second ago. Come on, guys. Don't be there. We go. Come and get to me. I just killed the sheep, and I heard a weird noise as I was mining some uh, charcoal right by them. And, and lo and behold, here came uh, Enderman out of nowhere. I guess he was in a cave below me and decided to warp up here. And oh, come on, dude. Mm -hmm. right. False alarm. Looks like we won't be getting an Enderman, so I'll continue gathering materials, and I'll be back shortly. Alright, I thought I'd bring you back for a brief update. We're nearing the end of the uh, second day of Minecraft, and uh, last cutaway, I believe, was uh, my Enderman failure. I couldn't lure the dadgum Enderman around, uh, and he, whatever he warped to, he did not come back. So, um, I just kind of kept exploring the same area, and the truth is, wow, what a world. I have not been in a cave yet, although I did see some pretty cool cave entrances right over there. Um, but my goodness, look how much, uh, 66 steaks, I've eaten a couple, but look at the coal. I have not been in a cave yet, and I have over three full stacks of coal, and uh, man, what, a, and there's some more right there. I think what I'm going to try to do, though, is, is quickly get down here, but oh my gosh, even more coal. Um, definitely going to come back up here at some point, check out those caves, and get that coal, uh, uh, that's on the surface so I don't have to venture down but I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is get set up here quickly um, hopefully before night time so I can get my bed down and my temporary base set up and 
And then I will begin planting some preliminary farms, getting a sugar cane going for my bookshelves later on for the enchanting. Um, but yeah, I'm going to set up a little temporary base right here. Um, and then I'll probably, one thing I'll do <clears throat> after I get some temporary farms set up, uh, uh, just the typical wheat, uh, probably grab those pumpkins right over there. Get some pumpkins going for later for lighting, uh, different things. Um, Got some seeds here for wheat and cow breeding and uh, chicken seeds for chicken farms as well. Um, but, but yeah, I think in general, um, I was really able to get a lot of uh, a lot of uh, necessities like charcoal and, and a great a great amount of food. I mean, 66 steaks, whole nine. Days. It'll take me forever to go through that. So I, I think um, you know something that we're going to do on this world is. I think we're going to get right into the uh, deforestation of the swamp. I think we're going to, you know, try to go through here and chop down a ton of uh, oak wood. Uh, probably create a little chest storage area. Eh, maybe here. Maybe I'll take away some of this dirt and kind of create it right, right there. Um, I don't know. We'll see what we do on that. But I think I'm going to work on uh, since I have enough necessities. I don't, I don't really think I have to go and cave right now to find some mine. I think I'll. Just stick with uh, you know gathering enough wood that, I'm, that I know I'll have plenty of wood for the foreseeable future. So we'll probably continue off camera with the deforestation of the uh, uh, at least the swamp area immediately around the witch hut just for future growth. We know eventually we're going to do that, so I'll probably go ahead and keep doing that off camera. Maybe set up a, a little temporary storage area in here with some smelting going on, and uh, definitely going to put some temporary farms. Um, you know, for wheat, pumpkins, that kind of thing. So, anyway, thought I'd give you a brief update. I'll be back in a little while. Thanks. Hey, little chicken. You want to join me on my little farm? Why, yes. Quack, quack. Oh, wait, that's a duck. <laughs> All right, come on, little chicken. Let's go to the pen. Hello, little chicken. I've got someone who would like to meet you over there in the pen. Yes, I will give you both some seeds so that you can make baby eggs. Ah, more baby chickens. Well, it makes you wonder. Yeah, the old what comes first, the chicken or the egg? Well, you know, I guess in Minecraft, it's what comes first, the egg or just simply a natural birth chicken? <laughs> uh, doesn't make much sense, but hey, that's the way it is. All right, we're nearing. Your little buddy, I can hear him clucking off in the distance. Yes, follow me, follow me. Something sweet awaits you in your future. Aha! Uh -huh. See, your friend down here has already laid an egg. Come on. Okay, you shall both be rewarded. Bang, bang. Aw, sweet chickens. Hey, baby chicken! <laughs> Alright, you guys continue on uh, yeah, looking at that wall. You're in timeout there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright everyone, uh, I think I'm, gonna, I'm nearing the point of completion for the uh, first day and the first, uh, well, not first day, I guess we went through three or four day cycles, but going through, uh, like this is our first video on YouTube ever, first uh, video in our new Minecraft Let's Play, and um, just thought I'd give you a brief update, we got us a little small storage area here, and just, uh, you know, just random things, nothing really, nothing really that awesome yet. Yeah, just only the basics all we have so far. Um, I am real happy about the steak. I think we <laughs> mentioned it before, but wow, what a what a find early on in the in the world. But um, got a little chicken area set up. I've got good blends for the two chickens I introduced you to earlier, and you too, little baby. You're gonna make nice sweet chicken meat. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll I'll create an automatic uh, chicken. Uh, I'll not create. I'll rebuild a automatic chicken cooker chicken farm that uh, these guys will be part of the cedar chickens and they'll lay eggs and whoop, the eggs will go into a hopper and into a dispenser and they'll automatically get dispensed into a uh, uh, collection area and and they once they grow in from baby chickens like little baby there and they grow into an adult chicken the lava will cook them into full um, yeah, chicken and we'll get feathers that way. Since this is in the spawn chunks, it should run at all times, even when I'm out exploring, even outside the 128 block uh, limit. I believe that's what the active area is. I, I haven't really played a whole lot of Minecraft in about a year, but I think that's right. 
Um, got a couple cows. I don't have any wheat yet. Just about grown, but I got a couple cows close. I uh, couldn't I tried this this little guy right here. Me and him going to meet your master. Um, he was right up here, and I pushed and pushed and pushed. I literally spent about three solid minutes trying to push that guy off into this area, and he kept fighting. It was like a, you know, like a sal uh, salmon swimming up against the stream. I couldn't ever get him in there, but oh, I will. You shall be mine. Um, uh, we've got uh, the basics. Got some pumpkins down here. Um, went ahead and did a little bit of terraforming in this area. You probably noticed there were some. Uh, you know, some just typical swamp uh, renderings like it was. Uh, th this area looked like that. But I then did some temporary terraforming um, you know, so I could get my farm set up. Nice little area for a base. Uh, but one thing I really wanted to show you before I call it uh, uh, into this first uh, first episode is, uh, you know, I was over here. You can see, notice there's no grass. You know, I went through and kind of cleaned out the grass uh, and trying to get seeds for my wheat. And um, it was just about to start uh, coming back and cutting down the wood and and I saw something that caught my eye and man did it look like it could be a cool project in the future. Uh, I think I mentioned at the beginning of this uh, series I am not a good builder at all. So I'm gonna, it's going to take a lot of effort on my part and a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of research, a lot of feeding, a lot of help. But anyway, I'm going through here and I'm cleaning up uh, you know, all the grass and uh, let me just kind of show you what I, what I happened upon uh, off in the distance. Man, I, you know, I don't know if any will be excited as I am, but um, if you look right over here, what does that what does that look like to you in the future in the distance there as that mountain renders in? Well, when, to me, well, what I see is we have kind of the uh, forehead of a skull. We've got a really cool eye invention here. Well, you know the nose, face down here. I'm thinking, man, with some uh, you know with quite a bit of work, but you know we got basically we have two thirds to three quarters of a skull right there coming out of the ocean uh, or the swamp. I mean, how cool would that be to Go ahead and terraform in the rest of the skull over here. Have another eye socket right here. Uh, you have a mouth. Maybe have some lava here and there. I, you know, I don't, I don't know, but man, you know, when I saw that, um, just boy, it just caught my eye. As what a what a great thing that would be to uh, um, yeah, what what a cool thing that would be to build a skull over there. You know, I have my you know witch farm here, some various other farms. Uh, possibly, uh, I want to do a mob trap, passive mob trap. I've not ever done one of those. I've always thought about it and wanted to, but I never really have. But I've got a cool idea on on uh, how I'm going to do the witch trap and, and uh, incorporate that based on some designs I've seen, and you know, throw a few flare, in, a little bit of flare, and maybe make it to make it mine. But you know, I'm thinking a mob trap above that, and and uh, you know, integrate the two. Ah, that's that, that's for an episode not in the too too uh, too distant future, uh, but. <laughs> what a what a cool thing! Again, you, know, you get that dark eye here, and I, I think with a little bit of work, we you know we have another di uh, dark eye socket over here on this. But the skull will kind of go down, but man, man, what a cool thing! I may have my uh, one of my sons, uh, Bryce, create a uh, you know maybe have him draw me something. He loves to draw. He's he's really big into art, but you know, have him draw me a skull. Um, give me something to work with, and and maybe I'll just try to rebuild it. I, anyway, I think that'd be a pretty cool, fun project. You know, as we get into the building portion of this world, but um, is that more coal? God, more exposed coal and more cows. I should kill you. Um, but I think uh, for the goal for the next couple episodes will be uh, for sure in the next episode. I want to finish getting uh, you know the preliminary things in my base. I've got some just basic things down now, but I want to go ahead and get the uh, uh, preliminary. I, I don't know how fast. Uh, we progress through these let's play you know I'll put out a couple videos one to two videos a week and yeah, I just see how it goes uh, but anyway I, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what progression we'll make between videos but you know for right now I want to definitely in the next video uh, you know finish the farm get get everything set up there you know get the cow in you know get my cows in here get them started so that I can have uh, you know, plenty of leather when it comes time to do my enchanting mm -hmm. um, give me my egg um, go ahead and get the Chicken farm. I probably will at least try to get the um, chicken farm built. Um, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I definitely want to get the uh, you know more cedar chickens. Get the cow in his pen in mm -hmm. the pen. And, um, get him some buddies in there and start making some cow pies. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's a bad joke. Get start getting the cows together so we can breed them. But um, yeah, I don't know. I love caving in the game, so I think probably uh, do quite a bit of caving. Gather up my resources. 
Um, most immediately, I, I mentioned I was going to start doing the deforestation. I got sidetracked getting my farm set up, getting all the grass, and you know, I spent a good five or ten minutes kind of looking at the skull and uh, of what I think it would be. I just I love the way it renders from you know here. Maybe I build the you know my base on this mountain, or you know just a temporary little house here, and you know that's just a cool looming feature off in the distance. I mean, wow, just just a uh, what a cool thing that'll be. But um, Next episode, uh, for sure going to level all the trees you see. Uh, I don't know how far out the swamp I'll go. Probably not a really great distance. And then again, I may go all the way to the skull to get those out of the way. I, I don't know. We'll see. But I'll get those all down. And, and uh, um, you know, in my wood chest, I really don't have a whole lot of wood resources. So you know, I, I think my goal will be to get, uh, you know, two couple rows of double, double, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll do the whole double chest full of uh, Whole double chest full of oak wood planks. I really like to have a ton of resources for when I begin my building uh, builds on projects. Just so um, you know, I hate being in the middle of a build and then oh wow, I need two more iron bars or oh wow, I need this or that. I, I really want to build up my resources before I try to begin um, you know the big builds that I haven't planned for the for this for this world. So uh, next next uh, episode definitely gonna get a lot of trees. Um, most likely do some caving, go ahead and start getting uh, all my iron tools, get all of my iron armor, uh, hope yeah, maybe find some diamonds and uh, I did you know I love to find a uh, love to find a spawner of some sort. Uh, go ahead and create an XP trap there. Um, then work on getting the enchantment set up enchanting table. I mean look how how cool that is. Wow, I didn't see that before. The sun's gonna set perfectly behind the skull. Wow, that that is definitely a future project we got to work on. So anyway, I'm very excited um, about the world, things, the possibilities that uh, that it could be. And hopefully, a few guys will watch and, and give me some of your thoughts. And, and if not, then hopefully uh, at least my boys will watch me and <laughs> give me their thoughts. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for tonight. I really appreciate it. And uh, the fun is out.